Here it is. This is the BBC's uh, Microbit computer, which they announced at a big event uh, earlier today at Broadcasting House, just up the road in London. Uh, in September, every Year 7 school kid in the UK is going to be getting one of these uh, given to them for free as part of a new BBC initiative. Um, it's got a lot of partners on board, uh, Arm, Samsung, Microsoft, uh, lots of big names, Freescale and Nordic Semiconductor. Uh, plus a bunch of the uh, big education companies uh, and startups uh, in that space. So as you can see, it's got a little 5x5 five five LED matrix display. Uh, it's got two little face touch buttons here. Uh, along the bottom, it's got this crop clip edge connector, which can be used to provide power and connect it to various other different types of devices. Uh, and then on the back, you've got a little USB uh, port, you've got a button which uh, flashes the device, this connects to the battery pack, and then you've also got on board um, a magnetometer which, or a compass, accelerometer, and the um, ARM Cortex uh, processor chip. So there's a lot that kids will be able to do with it, 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 it may look simple at first, uh, but thanks to the uh, various different connectors uh, that, that are on board, kids could do a lot, a, a lot with it. So. For example, this morning we saw it being used as a simple input device, uh, whether as a gaming controller using the buttons or the tilt sensor. Uh, it could be used uh, for science experiments, you know, using by connecting it up to other external sensors. It can be used uh, in concert with things like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or a Kano kit. Uh, so it has a lot of connectivity in there. Uh, you can also use it because it connects to the smartphone through Bluetooth Low Energy. You could use it to control smartphone games or uh, they demoed using it to just control your, your, your music uh, or your headphones. Um, some other uh, Kitronic demoed some uh, wearable tech where they connected it to clothing using conductive uh, thread. So there's a lot of interesting things going to be uh, coming out of it. Lots of uh, uses for kids to um, do exciting things both in the classroom and hopefully outside. So one thing that this isn't is it's not a Raspberry Pi competitor. Uh, obviously the Raspberry Pi is a full compute platform, runs a browser, runs a whole operating system. This is obviously a very different thing. It's more like a little programmable sensor. It could do some kind of cool little tricks, uh, but it's ready to experiment and, and as, as an introduction to hardware, which is very different from the Pi. It's, it's an interesting project. There's obviously still uh, a ways to go. Uh, it remains to be seen how uh, much impact it'll have. But one thing the BBC did say earlier today is that they will be launching a non-profit initiative with the partners. Uh, so once these, the initial million goes out in September, uh, expect to see uh, even more of them coming out. They're talking about possibly having them for sale. Uh, talk, talking about making it open source so that uh, hardware developers will be able to build their own and expand on it. Uh, so it's an exciting initiative. It's, a, it's an interesting project. Um, and now we're, we're going to go in and have, have a play uh, in the run up to September.